Do, 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 do. Hey, Minerva. Yay! Hello, everyone. Minerva here. Remember that I make these videos when I'm leaving a location, telling you when and where I'll be next. It takes me a few days to get there, so you have time to collect the bullion you need for the plans you want. Today I'm packing up from Foundation and heading to Crater. I'll be arriving on August 12th and staying until August 14th. I've got a fresh batch of plans that you won't want to miss, so make sure to stop by and see what I've got in store for you. Hey there, folks. It's always a pleasure to see you all. I've got a new joke for you. Why do responders avoid the gym? Because they get enough exercise running away from trouble. I know that responders are supposed to respond to situations, but honestly, I don't think I've ever seen one do anything other than run away. Have you? Maybe they need to brew up more liquid courage for themselves. Thank you, Tommy. Let's get into the exciting plans I'll be offering at Crater. First, we have the Gauntlet for 188 gold. This melee weapon is great for close quarters combat, delivering powerful hits with each swing. It's a great choice for anyone who enjoys a more hands-on approach in battle. Next is the Gauss Shotgun Precise Stock, available for 75 gold. This modification enhances the accuracy of your Gauss shotgun, ensuring your shots land precisely where you aim, perfect for those who want to improve their marksmanship. We also have the Gauss Shotgun Vicious Receiver and Refined Receiver, each priced at 150 gold. The Vicious Receiver boosts critical shot damage, while the Refined Receiver increases general damage output. Both are excellent upgrades, letting you tailor your Gauss shotgun to your preferred style of combat. For those who enjoy heavy weaponry, the Gauss Minigun Triple Barrel is up for grabs at 113 gold. This mod adds additional barrels to your Gauss minigun, allowing for an even more devastating rate of fire. It's especially effective for controlling groups of enemies and dealing with tougher foes. If you prefer a more tactical approach, consider the flare for 38 gold. This simple device can be used to signal allies or distract enemies, making it a versatile tool in your kit. Lightweight and easy to carry, it's handy in a variety of scenarios. Moving to the big guns, we have the Hellstorm Missile Launcher at 2000 gold. This weapon is designed to unleash devastating missile strikes perfect for targeting heavily armored foes or large enemy groups. It's an essential choice for those looking to pack a serious punch. For a unique melee experience, the Unstoppable Monster is available for 1,000 gold. This modified Deathclaw Gauntlet deals substantial damage and has bonuses for those of you who play with bloody builds. It's perfect for making a bold statement on the battlefield, especially if you're fighting a Deathclaw. That Unstoppable Monster is no joke. This one time I was scavenging in an old Super Duper Mart when I got ambushed by a drunken settler. Her husband had lost a hundred caps to me in poker the night before, and I guess she wanted him back or something. I told her where she could go, and the next thing I know she's swinging at me with this crazy deathclaw gauntlet and a power like nothing I'd ever seen. She was like the inspector from Unstoppables, swinging and slashing and swearing and spitting at me, way stronger than what she should have been. I gotta say, I ain't never seen a woman who could fight like that. It was almost like she became a man when she put that thing on her hand. I couldn't do nothing but run. I sprinted through the store's aisles, knocking over whatever I could to slow her down, or him down. At that point, I didn't even know anymore. As I rounded a corner, I spotted a fire extinguisher on the wall. Fortunately, because she was drunk, she was slower than me, and I had enough time to set up and blast her in the face with the chemicals when she came around the corner. She stumbled and screamed, and I was able to knock her down and then dash out a side door. I kept running into the night, grateful to have escaped with only a little bit of wounded pride and a lot of confusion about what the hell had just happened. Thank you for sharing that story, Tommy. That sounds like a positively terrifying experience. Moving on to the armor department, we have the Brotherhood Recon Pocketed Armor Limb and Torso, both priced at 188 gold. These pieces offer solid protection and additional storage capacity, ideal for those who need to carry extra gear while staying safe. A practical addition for any wastelander. For camp enthusiasts, the Turbo Fert Fertilizer Set is available for 563 gold. These nifty grenades instantly regrow harvested plants, ensuring a steady supply of food and resources. With this plan, you can both craft the grenades and also create the collector that generates a new grenade every five minutes. It's a valuable asset for anyone looking to maximize their camp's agricultural productivity. Lastly, add some style to your attire with the cowboy chaps, cowboy duster, and cowboy hat, priced at 113 gold each and 75 gold for the hat. These pieces not only enhance your look, but are also practical for life in the wasteland. Dress like a true gunslinger and stand out from the crowd. Thank you all for watching our video today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for the very best Fallout 76 videos from Oscapt and Noodle Pants. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland. This is Minerva signing off. In the heart of West Virginia, where the
shadows creep and sway. Cause a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride. With dangers untold and nowhere to hide.